All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting on the review table, and in front of us, we've got an individual first aid kit or a trauma kit or whatever you prefer to call it. Doesn't matter to me. It's what you do. We are focused on firearms on this channel and politics, but I will tell you this. If you owe it to yourself to at least at some point in your life, take some type of first aid training, uh, EMS, uh, anything of that nature. It's always interesting to keep evolving in yourself. I, I think one of the greatest courses I ever took was a combat lifesavers course while I was in the Army. It taught me just about everything that I needed to know. Now, during that time, if you don't practice it, you lose it. I probably have uh, lost a lot of that knowledge, but it really does come back to you. So anyway, I thought it'd be interesting to do a review on this guy right here. RTS Tax has been really cool to the channel, uh, kind of like a family member as far as I'm concerned. And they sent this out to me. So I wanted to open it up, take a look at it, and go through the contents with you. Not recently, not too long ago, I just lost my brother to a long battle with just health. And uh, one of the interesting things, I sent him one of these, and he had a bleeding uh, episode, which almost killed him. And uh, there was some, some stuff in here that actually saved his life, and we'll get back into that here in the near future. Okay, so what we have here is an IFAC. Uh, this has molly webbing in the back. It's 500 denure uh, uh, material right here. Uh, nice looking stuff right here that you can attach uh, two different items. Uh, one of the cool things I do like is that you have these pull tabs where you can pull these guys loose and you can separate it from your kit if need be, okay? So we can go ahead and take care of that, remove it from the kit, or you just go ahead and tear this loose and open it up. It does come with a set of medical shears on the outside, which I like. Uh, these don't have the turn hole right here for your oxygen tank, which you don't really need. Got a really cool RTS tactical logo on the scissors. Uh, what are these things designed to do? Cut the living hell out of anything that needs to be cut. These are very sharp and ready to go. Okay, you got some bungee cord areas over here. We do have, uh, well, you can do whatever you want. You can put a, another uh, tourniquet on this side right here, but easily open it up. Bam, there you go. Now, again, this is the first time I'm opening in this. I have not seen what was inside, so we're going to kind of like take a look at what we have. Nasal gene right here. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, here's your lube. <laughs> it's like, where's my lube? So anyway, guys, uh, important to keep the breath airway open. Let's see, go through it. 28. All right. Uh, so this is a really, really cool thing to have. Uh, and if you're trained with this, or if you've done any training with this, you will never forget it. I promise you. So anyway, that's a good thing to have. Uh, this is for adults only. Keep that in mind. All right. So next, what we have are these. Let's we'll see. Examination gloves. We got the blue ones. We have a primary and a secondary, it appears. Yes. Oh, no. There we go. Well, no, you left and right. Okay, no big deal. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, in the event of a major trauma thing, I'm not concerned about putting gloves on first. Let's see what else we've got here. This is pretty interesting. What is that? Hmm. Pretty cool stuff. Deluxe CPR mask. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be worried about that either, but I'm glad that's in there. So that concludes everything that's in here. Uh, we noticed that we've got some bungee cords that are tethered in there. That's cool. Uh, in the event that you need to uh, get some bungee cords. Well, you got a little spare packet right there. Okay, so here we've got some med tape. That's pretty neat. Um, I like this. I like the fact that they put a chem light in here. How many times have you ever been in a situation where there's no light available uh, or you want to keep the light at a low level? You can put a, a, a canopy or a, uh, what do you call that thing? A poncho over top of it. You can use this light to go ahead and see. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. Then we've got a Sharpie, it appears. Yep. We can go ahead and write on stuff. There we go. That's nice. I like the fact that they include that. All right. What else do we have? Uh, compressed gauze. Again, this is like a little packet. You're going to find out there's a little dot in here. You can pull this thing out and pull these gauze out. That's good in the event that you have a compression bandage or something else that you need to add gauze underneath it. Then what else do we have? Boom. Here we go. The tourniquet. 
SWAT tourniquet. Stretch and wrap and tuck. Okay, very cool. I think with the kit, right now as it sits, $139.99, if you add a tourniquet to it, which everybody and their mother should have tourniquets just laying around all over your house, uh, then it, I think it's $12.99 addition to it. What do we have here? We have... Okay, this is emergency bandage. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and open this thing because I would like to see... Okay, so again, see that little arrow right there or this arrow right here? You can tear these apart like that or on the side. That's pretty neat. Pull that open, split that out. And one of the things that I want to see is if this thing is got the Velcro or is this just a regular bandage? So there we go. A little instructions. If you've ever been in the military, this is like an Israeli bandage. That's good. Uh, if you've ever been in the military, then you will know there are instructions on everything. Okay, so there are little tether pieces like that. So if you don't need this whole thing, that's cool that that's there. And in any case, uh, pressure bandage right there. There's no Velcro on that. No big deal. Uh, quick clot. Okay, so this is the stuff that uh, saved my brother's life. This and the tourniquet that I sent him. Uh, he had an episode where he was picking at uh, a, a scab, and it went, believe it or not, down to an artery. And he just started bleeding out. Jumped in the, uh, actually had to go and jump into uh, a tub, a bathtub, to contain the bleeding. And this saved his life, which is just amazing to me. Uh, chest seal. Okay, so we got a chest seal front and back. Uh, this is good. North American Rescue. Great company. You go ahead and rip them open. You pull it apart slowly. Pack it on the front. Pack it on the back. And then you don't have to listen to <laughs> noises. Um, and that's it. So $139.99 uh, retail on this guy. That's a price that uh, you're going to have to stomach. Uh, but in any case, that's it. I like this kit. I love the fact that they put that in there. Also, you can add to it and go from there. It's Cody Boy 32, or we <laughs> changed our name to KB32 Tech a while back. And uh, that's it. RTS Tactical. This is their little trauma kit. Most important thing about trauma stop the bleeding, keep the breathing. And that's it. With that being said, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. And you need to make sure that uh, you don't bleed to death. Because that'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't funny. I'm out here. Y'all be good.